What's up, guys? Ross here from Consolidated. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a dashboard look really nice, really fast. Um, and the reason I say that is because when people first sign up, they don't know all the capabilities. You know, they're just not in the habit of building dashboards. And now it's gotten to the point where you've probably seen our designs have gotten much, much nicer. Um, you can see this one here. I've got another one that we recently made here. They're just getting prettier. Our, our dashboards are getting better looking. But part of it's because the software got better. The other part of it is because I got better as a dashboard designer. And so I wanted to, in this video, show you guys my process for building a dashboard. Now, the first thing that I usually do is I ask someone out of the gate. I'll be like, hey, what's your website? And I get their website because what I'm really wanting to do is say, hey, what is your branding? That's really what's going on in my head because people get excited when they see their own branding. So then what I do is I just grab this little color picker, uh, this little color picker here, and I go to their website. I'm going to do this on um, Consolidated here, and I'll get a color, so I'll snag that blue. And then what I end up doing is I come over to Canva, and I drop it. If it's a darker color, I drop it on the left side. If it's a lighter color, I drop it on this side. And I go ahead, I put in that color. Then what I do is, because uh, in this instance, I actually want to make it just a little lighter. I'm just going to go up just a little bit like this and maybe to the left just so that way I get a little bit of that gradient look. Now if I wanted to I could even add some sort of cool element over it. I'll give you an example of what I mean. Uh, you see this right here. I could go like this and I'm going to actually make this white. Get my face out of the way. We'll go ahead and we'll kind of fade that in the background like this. I got, how do I just move my head? Okay, there we go. I just need to make my mug smaller because you guys don't care about me. You care about better designs. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to log in to my account. We're going to create a new dashboard. We're going to call this one my consolidated demo dash. And we will add, I'm just going to use, um, We'll use these as our data sources. Now, first thing that I'm going to typically do is I like to go ahead and white out the back. I like it to be nice and clean and white like this. Uh, I might even end up uh, throwing up a logo in here. Let's see, I know I just put a logo up here yesterday. So go ahead and put this in here and I'll turn that on. And then I'm going to resize it. So we'll go ahead and fix the width, see where that stands. Let's go a little more. And then let's fix the height. Because this was not a very high res. Um, well, I think I actually took it off of a, a screenshot. So it wasn't a really high res logo, but you get the point. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a section. And I'm before I do anything else to that, I'm going to go ahead and take a background image. And I'm going to take the one that we just put. So now I've got this here. You might think, wow, that looks really crappy. Well, it's because we're going to paste this like this. And now it's going to look really, really nice. So now we've got a nice looking widget here. Uh, and I'm going to grab my number charts. So we'll go ahead and throw our number charts over this. Now, if I was smart, what I would have done just gone ahead and changed my border radius before I actually did anything else. Um, let's go ahead and set that like that. And there we go. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and map out the design for my next piece here. And I like to do the list chart down here. And in this, you can uh, change up your structure. So I'm going to put here my source. We'll do spend, we can do leads, cost per lead, um, closed, and we'll do conversion rate. 
Okay, great. Then over here under rows for my first row, I'll add Facebook ads. Google ads. TikTok ads, and we'll put organic. Okay, so now I've, I've kind of set that piece up there as well. Um, I'm also going to add this, uh, another element to this here. It's a newer chart type that we've had that I like. It's this donut chart. This will allow me to see the status of each deal. And then we can put like revenue over here. So that'll, uh, uh, like, uh, seeing it grow on a scale. Okay. So now we need to put some data in here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my leads. We'll go ahead and set this up like this. And, uh, I'm going to do say the last 30 days. We're going to really quickly just save our current date filters here. And then, um, so we got our leads. Let's get some appointments. We will get, um, let's get some sales. I'm kind of mixing these two because I haven't been very good at marking deals as one lately. So I'm not going to end up getting a true count as to how many deals are one. I'm pulling this from a, a company down in, um, in Tampa, but you get the you get the point as to what we're doing. We're building a dashboard. God, I don't think we'd be in business if we we only had two deals, one. Um, and then we'll just do payments, which would be like our cash collected. Some of this, this, and this, and we'll go like that. There we go. So now we have this set up like this. Um, so now what I'll do is I'm going to go over here into my custom source and I'm just going to get myself a couple, um, some different stats. So we're going to do, uh, actually I want to go one and appointments. So we're going to go one divided by appointments times a hundred. And that's going to give us our close rate. And you'll see that pop up right here. Then what I can do is go over here and go like this. And this, I'm going to just go like that. That would be a really bad close rate if that was my actual close rate. Oh, I see what I did before I accidentally added a decimal to the top of that. That's not what I wanted. And then let's get an appointment schedule rate. Booking. Okay. And now that we have this set up, you could, um, we could get our cost per lead. So I'm going into Facebook, grabbing this, and so I'm going to spend divided by lead, cost per lead. Let's go ahead and drop this here. And I'm going to go here. I feel like Bob Ross right now. 
I feel like the Bob Ross of dashboards. Okay, so now we got our cost per lead booking rate, all this across the board. Maybe we want to get a cost per acquisition. We'll go like this. Acquisition here. Which obviously is not real numbers because we're merging two different company data just to try to make an example of a dashboard. In fact, I should probably just turn on edit data like that. So that way the the data looks like it's, you know, semi-accurate. And then what we can do if we want is we could put in an ROI over here. Um, you could put uh, multiple things. So let's go ahead and grab this cost per acquisition, uh, or I'm sorry, cost per lead here. Drop this in right here. We'll also... Um, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to type in leads Facebook. We'll go like this. And for the source, we'll grab Facebook form lead. Uh, or total. So that way we know that that's what that was. Then I can also go in here and do contacts that were won from Facebook form lead uh, or Facebook ads. You could blend them together if you wanted. This is a demo, so it doesn't really matter. And boom. Now I'm just going to grab my Facebook leads, Facebook won. And we're going to go like this. I can get a conversion rate. Now, I'll just throw this out there. I'm not going to do this for all of them because this is a silly little video. But if I click on this right here in the mappings, you'll see the numbers are changing. That's because we're using edited data, by the way. If I go here and I type, just add this stuff in, I can add the right... Um, the right thing so that way it looks right. Okay, so you can see the point that you would end up getting this, you know, across the board. Uh, I'm going to go ahead up here and type in for my title um, marketing analytics. And then with these donut widgets down here, you don't actually need to um, put the total leads. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to put, say, for instance, open leads like this. And I'll plug this in here. Then I'm going to do one leads. Actually, I already have that. So I'll put this in here. Abandoned. And then I'm going to put lost. Now, here's the thing is that you don't, it, 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 what it does is it adds each one of these here. There's the percentage of, and then it actually adds them up in the middle. So that way you can see the total. Sorry, I accidentally clicked the screen back. Now, I want to show you a couple things here. So, under the mappings, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make the that that weird dark green it doesn't really fit with the fit with our color scheme here. I don't mind the purple cuz that kind of fits in with fetch. And uh for this we can put that here. 
But here's what I'm actually going to do under chart options under the legend. We're going to do this, and then I'm going to actually structure it like this, because I like when the leaves kind of stack here. You could put them at the top like that as well, or in the middle. I actually like that right there better. I think that looks better. Okay, so only the thing I'm going to do, throw this over here, change up my color to kind of fit the bluish theme here, and check that out. We now have a cool-looking dashboard. And you can do a lot of other things. You could add bar charts. You could do all sorts of stuff if you wanted. Uh, I'll give you an example because there's a lot of space in here. You could add a section here. And let's open this back up. And um, grab this. If you wanted to see, say, for instance, the bar chart, uh, the leads by day coming in, that way you kind of get a little bit of a. Then what you could do here, you could structure it like that, like this, or even like that. I kind of like the black. I'm going to change this to daily here. Maybe I actually like it blue. We'll keep it blue for now. And then what I'm actually going to do is save this date range here again. Save this current date range because now my uh, now every time it opens up, this daily interval will be selected. So guys, that is how you can make a cool looking dashboard in a really quick amount of time. Um, I think this video is probably 10, 15 minutes tops. Hopefully you got some cool design ideas. You can put your branding in there. You can put your customer's branding in there. But it, it uh, th this is what's been making things sell. Just the fact that we've been able to make our dashboards look so much better. Uh, you guys have an awesome day and keep on keeping on.